Right, so this is gonna sound really weird, but I've spent the last 200 days with my mouth taped shut, and it's been an absolute game changer. Right, so as you guys know, I'm always looking for different ways to improve my life, especially when it comes to my sleep. And it wasn't until I stumbled upon mouth taping. Originally, I thought it was a complete health fad, but I was actually completely wrong. So here's the thing, our mouth is designed for two things. One, eating, and two, kissing, not for breathing. And our nose is designed for breathing, so we wanna allow it to be the first line of defense for our lungs. And mouth taping comes into the situation to help our body retrain ourselves to breathe through our nose every single night. All right, so this video is gonna contain three main parts. Why we should all be mouth taping, how to actually get started, and my experience so far. And like usual, all the timestamps are down below in the description, so feel free to jump around the video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Mike, a biohacking nerd that's currently based in Poland. And on this channel, we explore how to become the healthiest versions of ourselves. But before we jump in, I've noticed that only a small percentage of people that actually watch my videos are subscribed, so please consider doing so down below. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. All right, let's jump right in. So for starters, let's explore why we should all be mouth taping. And the thing is, we want to actually avoid breathing through our mouths like the plague. The thing is, a lot of you are probably going to be thinking, yo, why would I do that? It's there for a reason. Shouldn't I be using it? Well, it's more so habitual mouth breathing that is the problem here. This way of breathing dries up our sinuses, messes up our dental hygiene, promoting cavities, and screws up our sleep, cardiovascular health, and blood oxygen levels. And worst of all, it can cause sleep apnea and also hypoxic events, meaning oxygen deprivation during your REM sleep. The reasoning here is during the sleep state, we actually lose control of our muscles, which means that our tongue can either be in one of two positions. The first one is resting on the roof of our mouth. The other one is falling back into our mouth, actually blocking our windpipe, which is a huge problem if we're using that as our oxygen source. And on the other hand, we have the miracle of nose breathing, which is going to filter, moisten, and pressurize the oxygen that's entering our lungs. Oh, and not to mention, it increases your nitric oxide production by freaking six times. And this is super important because this molecule affects our ability to actually deliver oxygen to our cells, our immune function, our weight, our mood, and our sexual function. But the thing is, it has a half-life of two to six seconds, so we need to constantly be producing it. Oh, and by the way, before we go to the next part where I actually share some advice with y'all, I wanna make sure that you know I'm not a doctor, purely just a beginner that's sharing my experience with you guys. So if you're gonna make any life decisions, please advise your doctor before doing so. In this section, I wanna give you guys an action plan and answer a bunch of common questions that tend to come up with this habit. So the most common thing is that for a lot of us, our nose is actually blocked. And here's the thing, if we don't use it, we lose it. So don't worry, it'll come back. And here's how we're gonna actually fix it. The first thing is we're gonna go buy nasal strips and we're gonna use them throughout the night to actually promote what we want to happen. And two, we're gonna watch a video by Patrick McEwen, which is linked down below, of a technique to actually help us open up our noses. Next, for those of you that are interested in what mouth tape to use, I would recommend one of two things. The first one is gonna be 3M Next Care Sensitive Skin Tape. And if you want something more refined and you're scared about potentially suffocating in your sleep, you can get Somnifix. They have a little slit that gives you that peace of mind. However, I'd honestly say it's not that important. You can just put some coconut oil on your lips and use any tape that you've got lying around. Just don't use duct tape or Gorilla Tape. <laughs> That's not gonna be a good idea at all. And that'll ensure that it doesn't hurt while you're taking it off like for example, what you saw at the beginning of this video. Then we've got, do I need to seal my mouth perfectly? Nope, not at all. We're more so just trying to promote our mouth to stay shut when everything relaxes at night. And then for some of you that might be thinking, oh, this is gonna solve all my sleep problems. Not exactly, it's just gonna be a step in the right direction to help you sleeve the sleep puzzle. 
And for those of you who want a bunch of sleep tips and hacks to start improving your sleep even more, I actually made a video about that. It'll be linked down below and there should be a card somewhere up on the screen. But to give you guys something right away, I've been refining my approach to ensure that I'm not looking at screens or at lights one hour before bed. And to do so, I've been using this red headlight lamp that I got recommended to me by Mike Mutzel. And then also I've been reading Ready Player Two. Mm, such a freaking good book. And here's the thing, not everyone's gonna have to mouth tape for the rest of their life. If you're like me and you get congested decently often, it's probably a good idea. But if you're not like that and you're able to retrain yourself, then don't worry about it. You just gotta do it for a couple months and you should be good to go. And finally, if you're interested in learning more about this stuff, check out any of James Nestor's stuff. He has an awesome book called Breath and also check out Patrick McEwen's stuff and his book, The Oxygen Advantage. All right, so now I wanna share my experience of what it's been like to tape my mouth for the last 200 days. And here's the thing, I'm still a believer that I think this is one of the easiest things that we can do to improve our health. It's literally one of the most chill things ever. All you gotta do is put a piece of tape over your mouth before you go to bed. That's it. And luckily I've now noticed that I have moved over to a habitual nose breather from a habitual mouth breather, which I'm super excited about. And throughout the day, I'll constantly notice myself actually doing so, which is like basically a pat on the back for me. All right, so when it comes to tape, I honestly find myself just using whatever I have on hand. And I've used 3M Next Care in the past, but I find it's quite hard for me to get. So I oftentimes just find myself using this tape that I use for rock climbing to just wrap up my fingers. It works and it's really easy for me to get. And now that I've been doing this habit for quite some time now, I wanna share that I definitely haven't been perfect with it. There's a couple nights where I have run out of tape or I just completely forget. It happens, not very often, but it happens. But what's awesome about those days is when I wake up in the morning, my mouth isn't dry which leads me to assume that I'm consistently breathing through my nose. So moving forward, I'm going to be permanently mouth taping at night. And why would I ever get rid of it? My freaking sleep attire at the moment looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know it's the complete opposite. If you ever see me, you are in for a freaking treat. It's a sleep mask, some silicon earplugs, depending on where I am and how noisy it is, and mouth tape, yeah. Definitely a sight to see. All right, that's it. I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you're interested in more content like this, be sure to check out my video on the sleep tips of how to start improving your sleep ASAP. All right, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.